Hello everyone, welcome back to Daily Financial Roundup. Here is Van Amsen and today is June 14th, 2023. So let's kick off with the United States today. We have seen a surprising drop in US producer price by 0.3% month over month in May. This decline was mainly due to substantial 1.6 drop in goods prices. On a positive note, mortgages applications saw a rise of 7.2% uh, in the week uh, ended June 9th, making the first increase in five weeks. So currently S&P 500 is uh, up by 0.05%. So on the flat line, uh, Nasdaq down by 0 0.12%, uh, Dow Jones uh, on the drop almost 0.25%, and Russell on the rise just by 0.1%, but also lower from uh, sessions high. And turning to Italy, uh, Italy index uh, on the rise almost 1%, and with Telecom Italia shares surging by uh, over 4%. And market sentiment today is quite boosted by anticipation of interest rate pause by US Federal Reserve. So last week we have seen two uh, surprise hike from Bank of Canada and uh, Bank of Australia. So we will see how it uh, plays. And now moving to uh, Germany. So uh, Germany uh, Siemens uh, reach all time high uh, of uh, 164. And currently German index uh, DAX is up by 0.3% and also uh, retreating from session uh, highs by 0.3%. Uh, so in Eurozone, industrial output rebounded in April by 1% month over month. So let's look at Euro 50 uh, top stocks. So uh, up by 0.43%. And now on to commodities. Uh, Brand crude futures uh, are on the rise more than 1.3% uh, to level of $675 uh, dollar per uh, barrel. Uh, yes, and it's mainly due to prospect of higher demand from uh, China and also still uh, rebar futures also saw a significant rise uh, surpassing the 3,750 yuan per ton mark, which is the highest in nearly two months. And US futures are currently uh, on the flat line uh, with anticipation of Federal Reserve decision and a chair press conference. Uh, so in recent news also, the inflation rate as of May 2023 was 4% in the United States, 6.1% uh, in Germany and 8.7% in United uh, Kingdom. Uh, Japan saw inflation rate of 3.5% uh, according to the uh, recent uh, data. So we can see that uh, Europe is still struggling with uh, inflation and uh, moving to uh, United Kingdom, uh, it's up by 0.3% but also lower from session highs by almost 0.3%. So uh, turning to economic calendar, uh, Germany wholesale prices experienced a decrease in May 2023, while United Kingdom GDP showed a slightly increase in April. So in global news, Japan and OPEC have established a higher level dialogue to address Tokyo energy security concerns. And this move uh, comes uh, as global competition for LNG cargo is expected to intensify due to the recovery of China economy and Europe uh, stockpiling uh, of more natural gas for uh, coming winter. And let's look uh, for other news. So currently uh, 10 yield uh, on US Treasury are down by 1% uh, to level of 377. And VIX is also down just slightly by 0.6%. Uh, so yes, VIX fear index usually uh, worth noting. And if we look at dollar 
uh, index. So dollar is dropping by almost 0.4% uh, and currently are uh, in session low. And uh, as opposed, euro dollar uh, is up by 0.4%, mainly because uh, dollar is uh, weakening. And looking to Japan market, Japan is uh, on the flat line uh, of 0% and also retreating from the session highs by almost 1.1%. So uh, quite a drop from session high. And Australia 0.1% up also retreating from the session high. China flat line as well and also lower from session high. And if we look at the Hong Kong, Hong Kong uh, as opposed to the uh, China stock market up from session low, but also on the negative territory of minus 0 0.2 uh, as for the session and up from 0 0.75% for, uh, from the session lows. And what else we have here? Yeah, gold, obviously gold, gold is up uh, but uh, it's mainly because uh, dollar is weakening so we can see the short term correlation between uh, gold and dollar so when the dollar uh, is weakening the gold uh, mainly uh, rise and yeah the gold price denoted in dollar because uh, obviously if we change uh, for example the currency to let's say euro, uh, this will be a totally different story. So maybe not so, but uh, still uh, the values will be, uh, yeah, of the less rise than compared to uh, the notion in uh, dollar. So this is all for today. A uh, quick recap, we will be updating you with the news from Federal Reserve and we'll see whether it will be a pause or hike. So stay tuned to more Van Amsen daily financial recap and updates. And if you like it, please like and subscribe for more. Stay ahead of the market. See you next time.